Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Your Turn to Die. We are inching closer and closer to completing this game. Last episode, there were some memories. Basically, we're recovering some pretty important memories that are related to the story. So I'm excited to continue this. All right, so we're looking around the police box. So yeah, if you missed last episode, check it out. Use lantern. All right. I shouldn't make him push himself anymore. Oh yeah, we just used the... Okay, I forgot. Yeah, so the lantern brings back the memories and we just use that on him. Got it. So, I think we need to go find somebody else. Alice, a transceiver and a voice recorder. He seems to even thought. Oh, Kana. Hi, Kana. This book is really something. She's reading intently. Use lantern. Kana, can we talk about your lost memories? My memories? Yeah, work with me to find the truth. We need to stand against Midori. I guess we do need to do that. But looking back at your memories might be a difficult task. You mean my sister, right? But it's alright. Kana's gotten at least a little stronger than before. And you're here with her, Sarah. Thanks, Kana. Alright then. Go ahead. Ooh. Seems to be an ice cream shop. Oh, so she went there with her sister. Her sister often went there on the way home, so she's a, she took Kana there for the first time. But something strange. She can't be sure of what's really happened then. Well then, let's give it a try. Uh, well, this is different already. Okay, point that out. Could you remember this part a little more? She always looks like she's saying objection. <laughs> Understood. You know, I feel like something was on that wall. It's another one of those things. So they just went to so like Midori was like working at all these places, I guess. What's wrong, Kana? That's strange. On the wall was the consent form. Kana saw that form there, and she feels like she asked the clerk about what it was. And then after that, I can't remember. What in the world is this? Well, obviously this is a different person. Could you remember this person a little more? Right, um, did they have green hair? He had the same face as Midori. Uh, what does that mean? Why was that man here? Has Kana met him before? Yeah, so there's obviously the pattern. Everyone's met him before in another part. How long has sister been going to that shop? Maybe they really have been preparing for this much longer than we thought. Calm down, Kana. You want to rest a little? No, I'm fine. Let's, uh, let me continue. Okay, what about the ice cream flavors, huh? They better have cookies and creams. The best one. The green ice cream. Okay, leave it to me. I think I had it twice. A uh, mature level of sweetness, and it filled your mouth with the green tea flavor. It was like matcha or something? Oh, it's, well, I guess green tea is not matcha. I don't know. Kana's sister ate too much of it, so they ran out of green tea ice cream. She was really fond of it. She had it all the time. Kana was more drawn to the sweet vanilla and chocolate flavors. Yeah, I, I, if I'm going to pick ice cream, it's definitely not going to be freaking green tea. But that day in particular, her big sister watched as Kana acted all mature to pick something out. Because they didn't have her favorite flavor, guess we saw at least one of the discrepancies. Uh, let's keep following these memories. Hmm, what else? Any other ice cream flavors? Do they have cookies and cream? Do they have cookie dough? Two purses? What does she need two purses for? Kana's like all messing with the cakes. Uh, yes, okay, uh, I remember that day. Kana got so excited about picking out a cake, and she and her sister, she had her sister carry out her, carry her bag. Oh, I know that feeling. Our happiness that might depend on that choice, so Kana absolutely couldn't choose wrong. Kana's sister watched her and waited patiently. What a good big sister. Me, I'd probably get engrossed in picking uh, with her. I'm picking with... Picking... What did that just say? Do you think this could be a clue? Of course it is. Well done, Kana. Um... Oh, well, it's a different time of day. We visited that shop in the evening. The ice cream we ate while walking home from school was so tasty, and it was earlier than usual, so sister decided to go over to a different shop. She think they had cakes, too. She must have been keeping quiet, uh, quiet about, I'm sure. Do you eat that much, Kana? Come to think of it, I wonder if us eating as we walked home is why sunsets make my tummy rumble. Uh, what's that called again? Parvlog's dog? What? Right, the doggy that ends up drooling just from the ringing his bell, mill bell. That's so mean, Sarah. What is so are they trying to say that like because she did the same thing every day that her stomach got used to it And so even when it would hit evening her stomach would hurt. Is that really a thing? I mean, I know there's routines about waking up like you gotta wake up without alarms and stuff So anyway, this is completely different The ice cream chandelier. It's a big glowing ice cream. Isn't that really cute? Kana wants to have one in her house I do think it's fancy but to have it in a room. <laughs> she always looks like an ace attorney right here Kana always figured this was an ice cream shop, probably because she saw the light from the outside. In reality, it was the shop of her dreams, filled with so many more kind of sweets. She knew her sister often went there, too. When she met up with me on the way home, she'd wait there with ice cream in both hands. We would eat our ice cream while chatting, and then... Kana, it's alright. I'm, I'm the one who decided I'd face up to it. Okay, so there was also these little things. 
looks like maybe there's names written on it. So there was a lot of writing. People's wishes. Okay. Yeah, sometimes I, I thought maybe someone's name would be on it. Wishes? I think customers at the shop would write them. Things like, I hope I won't put on weight or I hope I won't get any cavities. Such greed. I feel like I got curious about it and talked with the clerk. I don't remember what he said. I'm feeling kind of uneasy. Okay, that's it. I remembered. My memory was like this. I went to the sweet shops with my sister. Yeah, there's uh, wishes on the wall. Kana was looking through them, wondering if her sister put one up. And amongst them was that form. Kana asked the clerk what, uh, who her sister was familiar with. What did you guys talk about? Oh, I should get to see her. Do you know uh, the Asunaro vow? The heck is that? It was on the paper on the wall, uh, the one that said cons consent form. If you write your name there, they say one of the wishes will come true. Oh. There were lots of those little cards, too. Guessing you wrote, I wish to stop wetting the bed. I already have! Don't say such str uh, strange things out in public! Sorry, so... Uh, Kana couldn't think of anything, but the clerk gave her an idea. He said to grant your wish instead. Why do you look upset? Uh, sorry. Let's see. My wish, huh? Maybe I'd wish for you to meet, uh, Kana. You're real... Huh? That's right, your faded partner. Don't you, you don't you want to meet your faded partner? Is Kana adopted? Is that what she was about to say? Your real, you know, mother, father, or maybe sister? Maybe that's not a real sister. Who knows? Her name's Kuji? I'm fine. You worry about that first sister. Well, look who's talking. You sure once I get married, we'll have to separate, you know? Fine by me. As long as someone shows up who loves you as much as Kana does, that is. Looking back now, that clerk, I feel like it was Midori. Kinda just wanted her sister to be happy. After all, she brought her lots of happiness. All I could do was gently hold her shoulders. Kana and her sister were so thoughtful towards each other, and yet, it's truly just awful. Okay, well, who's next? There's always really touching stories, you know? Oh, what about this dude? Oh, he doesn't want to do it. Okay, I can't do that to him. Can I use it on you? So I guess there's no backstory to the robots. The screen is bright red. Shin? Ugh. Shin, what's the matter? I won't tell. Not anyone. Help. The screen. Was he killed? As punishment for giving us too many hints? I've... I've let so die again. Oh, that's it? I thought that was going to be like part of the story. I mean, like part of a... That was just so fast. Oh, what the heck? You're here now. Uh, sir, it's terrible. I was here checking out the broadcast broadcast equipment, but the Shin AI on the on the monitor. I know, I saw it. I saw it. He was probably killed by Midori. So you knew? I want to get revenge, but I know. Let's do what we can. I'm gonna look at these machines some more. Come here if you need me, Sarah. Do you wanna see my lantern? Okay, no, you don't wanna see it either. Man, nobody wants to see my lantern. Wait, what's in here again? I know we got, yeah, oh, this is where we found the thingy. Oh yeah, this guy like sacrificed himself. Okay, I'm guessing the lantern doesn't work on her either. Yeah. Okay, so I talked to Kana and so she found a book. Uh, it was called Shin Swept by Eternal Wind, Smile Beaming. Hang on, that's like the title of a poem. That's exactly right. It's a test out of, in the form of a poem. It'll take some time to decipher like this. She's right, that book really is something. Okay, so I'm guessing I need to just talk to everyone normally. I've been trying to use the lantern on everyone. All right, four eyes. What'd you find? I can say that. I wear glasses. Want to use the ID card to view the data on this? Yes. The screen says recruitment list. We've uh, located two promising choices who meet uh, Gash's requirements. Oh, wait. We already looked at this. Oh, what the heck? You can turn on the lantern in rooms? Okay, I just found this. Some text got revealed. It says, watch above, careful when you're alone. The ceiling, I don't really see anything. Oh, God. <laughs> a hand? It's a doll hand. Looks like a note fell with it. It reads, an upgrade part gift, the steam spray hand. Don't tell me this can be attached. That's so random. <laughs> what is this? Okay, th this changed too. The painted over part is glowing from the light in the lantern. Try wiping it off. Okay, so we have to find something to remove it. Use the hand. Does somebody need a hand? Oh, run more upgrade parts. Let, let me check things out here some more. Oh, yeah. Again, searching alone at the police box. You want to keep an eye on him just in case. Yeah, I was like stuck and I was like, oh, I can click this. Oh, wow. That changed everything. The room changed. Seems surprised. Uh, talk. Uh, safety first. Leave it to me. Uh, cute. What does this say? The lantern's light is revealing the interior. Wow, you can see the posters and such. 
What did Shinobu Gokujo, Hades Incident Refugee? Let us know if you have a finger on his whereabouts. Hades Incident. Again, what's wrong? Hades Incident. That was a murder spree between Yakuza a long time ago. Why do you know that, Gin? I don't know. I just suddenly remembered. Is it because of the lantern? Someone told me. The person who survived in the incident took control of the underworld. Good job remembering. Uh, maybe that's one of your lost memories too. Big Sis Sarah. Still wanted, huh? That means Asunara is looking for this person. If you have a finger on the criminal, huh? Oh! The finger part is bulging out a little bit. Inspect. When I touched the text, there was a clicking sound. Something fell out! Obtained a finger. It's a Yakuza's pinky. And the Yakuza, if you... I don't know why exactly they do it, but if you try to leave, I think... Or if you do something bad, they will take one of your fingers. So that's why that is a thing. That's why it's a finger. So like a lot of interviews with people that say that they were part of that, they're like missing a pinky or something. You know, they'll just be released. They're going to miss it up to this point right here, which always makes me wonder why you even joined in the first place. But you know, whatever. Okay, so we're giving her the hand. Or him. Ah, I can't remember. I, we went through this and I already forgot. You came specifically to show me, right? So it looks natural on me. Uh, it doesn't feel out of place at all. Can you still feel it? I can't. Jeez, you don't have to touch it. It said steam spray hand, so I'm sure I could do something along the lines. Steam spray. You probably need moisture for that, you know? Moisture. Hmm, I'll come with... Let's find a way to use this. Okay, so I'm guessing we need that for the stuff on the consent form. Oh, maybe this too. A finger? I found it in the police box. Might be another part you can use. You're not just, uh, foistering junk on me, right? Okay, no, it's a, it's a guy. I keep forgetting it's a guy. Ooh, the soda machine. That's probably where we'll get water. Give, yep, I knew it. I knew it all along. Wait, what's this about now? If we just use this, it'll end up, uh, it'll use up the batteries from the charger. Fine by me. You got an idea, don't you? Uh, Kurumata. Well, I'll have a ginger ale. <laughs> Only sweet drinks for you, eh? Ron Maru down to ginger ale. What the heck? More acidic than I expected. So now what? Now maybe you can use the steam spray. Okay, let's do it. I know exactly where I need to use it. Gotta go to the classroom. This is so freaking random, by the way. Like, this is like 10 levels above like a Saw freaking uh, movie. All right, I guess I have to use the lamp first. All right, steam spray time. What, gotcha? Huh, gotcha? What do you mean, gotcha? Oh. I agree to devote myself to Asunaro for granting my wish? What's this mean? Devote myself to Asunaro. It means exactly that. What a complex metaphor. Um, means exactly that, probably? Giving yourself up to Asunaro. You could take it to me and I won't complain, uh, even if you play with my life in the death game. In exchange for just a single wish? It ain't possible. No way we signed something like that. Well, if they all had something that they really wanted, maybe they did, you know, they did want to sign it. They obviously lost their memory, you know? This invitation to the death game. Then what about me? Would Dory pressure me to sign this? Saying that mine would be the last one. Then, why am I here? Ah, what if? What would happen if I wished to be put uh, to put it into the death game? Would it all end at the cost of my life? Don't think any stupid ideas. There'd be no point. I wouldn't want that. It's just an idea, really. But if that were possible, I felt like a cold wind blew through the crack of my heart. I've come all this way, constantly thinking that I wanted to live, that I didn't want to die, and yet the opposite fe uh, feelings tug at my heart. If I died, it'd be easier. If I died, everyone would be saved. No! I can't feel this way! It's no different than giving in. Let's go, Ranmaru. I have to get away from this place. Hey, Sarah. What is it? I don't want you to die, Sarah. Ranmaru. So, um... What do you think about winning? Uh, what's he saying all of a sudden? Maple told us, right? Winning. What does he mean? Betraying everyone and... Don't get such strange ideas, Ron Mario. I want us all to escape together. Yeah, of course. We'll all escape together. But is that really going to be possible? Look, when I'm with you, Sarah, I feel more and more like I want to live. The more serious I get, the more afraid I am to die. Seeing Kuramada, I realize I don't want to die now. That's the same for all of us. Which is why you have to win, right? If I want to get out of this alive, all I have to do is take you out, Sarah. Now, why are you saying that? But I can't do something like that. On the other hand, I'm sure I could kill anyone else. Whoa, 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 whoa. Come, the, the, put the brakes on. Wait for me. Raimaro, get a grip. We're all allies. We've overcome hardships together. 
When Q Tower and Alvis were shaken, they still never tried to abandon us. When Ginny and Kana were taken by suspicion, they still believed in us and gave us courage. So never say something like that again. Sorry. I'm such a piece of crap. I had no right to be a friend. Aww. I'm sorry, Sarah. The more you want to live, the more real death feels. I'm sure Ron Morrow had given up at first. It was me who gave him hope. But I can't make a choice like that. I... This is no time to be crying. We'll all return together. I don't want to, to abandon anyone. Ron Morrow, that includes you. How boring. I thought you'd finally wake up, Miss Sarah. But alas, you're still the dependable leader. Midori, he saw all that? What does he mean by wake up? Uh, boy, the chaos one little piece of paper could cause. Uh, what's so funny? I mean, I had everyone sign the form to have them participate in the death game, see? So, of course, I wouldn't accept uh, put an end to it. Though, the record, I define granting a wish that gave you an advantage. Why am I here? I never signed that consent form, and yet... The fact that you're here must be because someone wished so, surely. Someone wished for Sarah to be here? Well, never mind that. I really think it's a shame, Miss Sarah. I so wanted you to wake up. To see the awakening of the ultimate Sarah Chidoin. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, so you don't even know. My miscalculation was having Joe take part. What? I was opposed from the beginning, you know. To the silly balancing business. I can't see where this is where you're going with this. Miss Sarah, what do you think those victory percentages you've been carrying around are for? Yeah, I've always wondered that. We've had this for a long time. Uh, those. Did you think that we were placing bets? Gin's a dark horse. 100,000 yen like that. So then... Why... What did you prepare them for? This is the death game. This death game must be a holy event. Everyone must be given a fair chance, a way to survive. In other words, the victory rates had to be made equal. Exactly. In short, you were assigned handicaps. So the weak uh, were given helpers. Balancing the victory percentages. So for that stupid reason... That's strange, because I still don't quite understand. Don't I have the highest victory rate? Giving me an ally doesn't make any sense. Uh, that's why it's curious. You see, Miss Sarah, when you have an ally, you're weaker. In the worlds without Joe, you were a truly terrifying sight to behold. Oh, dang. A stronger survival instinct than anyone else. A heart that would never give in. Oh my god, what do you mean in other worlds? Such resourcefulness, strategy, and cunning use any means to survive. And the most terrifying part was how you use the deaths of others. After killing them, you shed tears and tug at everyone's heartstrings. Such tremendous charisma, even though you had zero intent of self-sacrifice. As the AI test continued, uh, even I got shivers down my spine. Wait, AI? Oh, so they just used AIs? Are, are we all AIs? What is the meaning of this? If I could have met you like that, but hey, I have to obey the will of the organization. Uh, I'm an adult after all. Well, Miss Sarah, did Joe do a good job uh, dragging you down? It can't be. Are you saying Joe was killed for a reason like that? I'll kill you! Woo! Oh, dang. Hey, you think you can win? You're not getting away with this. This isn't the kind of method I want from you. Give them back, Joe, everyone! By everyone you mean, uh, now and Kai? The people whose names aren't on the list, they had no connection to anything, right? And you use them like toys for the most worthless of reasons. We were all just living regular lives, giving us- giving our all to live normally. Oh dear, you really have gotten too kind. But that's not you, is it, Sarah? You're far more deceptive and despicable. And demonic and bewitching and supreme. Go back to the way you were then, Sarah, so he wants to bring the worst in people. Stop it. Uh, you were still here? Did you really intend to kill me just now? Well, that's strange. If you did that, you die, remember? Shut up! You're human garbage! I'll kill you! Are you going to drag down Miss Sarah, too? Not again, my caller. It's the tag finale. Gotta touch someone or you're gonna die! I'll have you disappear, too, Ronmar, for Miss Sarah's sake. And give me a good show, won't you, Miss Sarah? Let's go after him, Sarah. <coughs> Joe. He was brought along with me. The worst. It happened for the worst reason. How do we know that they weren't dolls? Well, they they probably bled. But do we really know that? I'm just saying. There's a lot of fishy stuff going on in this game. 
and I would just really like to see the end now. And I, well, cause I actually think there's a new part coming out, right? So I already know there's not going to be an actual end. At least I don't think there's going to be, but I'm just ready, man. I'm ready for them just to freaking get Midori. Shoot. I have to go after him. I don't know. Where's he going here? Control room. No, the Pepsi machine. Maybe Ryan Morrow. Uh, where's Midori? Where did Midori go? Did he come here? Your color is glowing. This tag crap again, huh? Let's hurry and look. Uh, there's no word. There's no one here but Karumata. Ron Maro? Do it. What are you saying? You want to live, right? I... Our futures. I can't... Yeah, he's... Of course, he's going to be like, tag me. Yes. Go ahead. Touch me. I can't see one for me, but I can see one for you. It's like he's... <laughs> It's getting to the point where, like, he's just trying to die. Like, you know what I mean? He's that guy that's like... <laughs> uh, there should be a comedy uh, anime or something like that where it's like someone's always trying to be the... Have that, like, exit of the good guy that, that sacrifices himself, but it's like he never gets to. Maybe that's maybe that's probably happened in another show, but I just feel like at every point he's like, no. He's like, no, just pick me. It's like, no, man, you could survive. Like, really, we could all survive out of here. Don't you dare do that, Run Maru. What am I even doing? I know this is wrong. I've just lost the courage to stand against our enemy. Then what are you going to do if you beat Midori? You'll just die. I don't know. What should I? I can't stand to watch this. What is she doing? Come on, we'll do something about that collar. What the heck's going on? I don't know. Oh, this just opened, didn't it? I was like, wait, what just happened? I didn't even see the door open. Oh, because she knows. Because she was supposed to kill us. Yeah. A strange device stretching through the room. What is this? I call the reset device. What? A reset for the bomb? And how do you know that, Hinako? Oh, I don't know. Just suddenly remembered. Uh, you don't have to believe me, but do you have any other way? No objections. All right. Sarah Senpai, call everyone here. Everyone? Yep. It's a pretty intense device. Apparently, we'll need cooperation. Oh, I sense a minigame coming on. So this is the machine for resetting colors? Uh, what a terrifying service. This is quite the tremendous privilege. If we can all de deactivate them, we won't have to be afraid anymore. It's not that all powerful people. It can only do it for the dummies. And also, it just disables the tag mode, I think. Oh, to do that, everyone will put themselves at risk. This device forces a reset by sending electronic current. Using our bodies as conduits, that is. Please don't casually say such scary things. Uh, relax. It won't be enough to kill you. But if someone passes out midway, we fell. Ronmar is going to die. Well, then, let's get on with it, shall we? Right. Can we handle that much? We aren't going to let Midori have his way with us. Guys. Yikes. It's going to... Hurry. Stand in the center. This is a very complicated looking device. All right. What do I do? Talk to you? I'm counting on you. Let's do it. Oh, no, not one of these. He's got to talk to the people in the right order, basically. <laughs> Grab the electrodes, everyone. I'm turning it on. Okay, so here's how it works. Oh, I'll explain. See, we did. <laughs> Whoa there. You'll fail if you let go. Just stay right where you are. Listen up. The objective of this game is to gather electricity on Ron Maru. He's always two steps ahead, that Midori. The electrodes you're holding onto will be sent electric shots at random. So do your best sending that current towards Ranmaru. Ranmaru's Carlo is making a warning sound. Uh, take a look at the monitor on the ceiling. That's the number of people who will be sent a shot next. That what happens when the shot comes in? Ah, that's right, stronger than I expected, isn't it? That's the first shock. You'll get more electrified each time you're zapped. Let's try it once more. Please stop. That was the second shock, and if you get more and more electrified... Three shocks is the limit. If you take a fourth, you'll pass out. If you just one, if one person faints, you'll fail the game. But this is just one way of resetting your charge back to zero. Oh, what the heck? This looks confusing. Ta-da! Wires connecting your collars to one another. Hey, Miss Sarah, press that switch next to you. Okay. The, the electricity. Flows to the person who pressed the switch. In exchange, we'll just take a look. 
Oh, so we have to flow the electricity without... We just have to, like, balance it. Absorb charge into yourself to protect others. That's what the game is. What about me? Didn't I say already? Unlike everyone else, Juan Morrow has to gather electricity. Plenty of it. Enough to make him faint. Seriously? So basically, give charge to Ron Morrow and keep it off the others. That's it? Well then, it's about time to get started. Clear my charge first. Why? Because I'm still electrified? That's unfair. Unfair, huh? Oh no! He did it to everyone! I put everyone at one charge to make it even. Okay, have fun. Wait, Midori! Did I mess up? Oh no. Oh, the wiring changed too. All right, let me save the game. Oh yeah, I forgot, like, Kyutaro and, and they're like separated, right? Wait, so how do we give it to... Ranmaru? Oh, the red's connected. I'm confused. I think I'll click Kana. Go with this. I'm sorry, Kana! Oh wait, the given number of people will receive shocks. Ranmaru's car is making a warning sound. Oh, it changes every time? Okay, I'm trying to figure this out. So, all right, I can absorb their charges, but I don't want to do that. That would kill Sarah, right? Oh, Ron Morrow can collect charges. Okay, good. That's good, right? Oh, wait, but he only got one charge, even though there was multiple. Okay, I'm confused. Okay, so I guess we want to absorb some more, right? Oh, wait a minute. Huh? The given number of people receive shocks. Up next, two. Oh, I keep forgetting that it automatically shocks people. Okay, so yellow. So that means you need to absorb some charge, right? What is ha- Oh, God. No, oh, God. No, what am I doing? <laughs> this is kind of confusing me. All right, you need to absorb some charge. Okay, well, I haven't killed anyone yet. That's a good thing. Okay, you're gonna absorb the charge. Oh, I see. So it's a random number of people they're gonna get the charge. Okay, you're connected to blue. Okay, absorb. Okay, all right. So we're connected to yellow. We're gonna absorb more. Oh, just gonna keep absorbing. This should do it, right? Ow, all right. I collected enough. The collar's getting off a burnt smell, but still functions. Oh dear, sorry, since it's built a little too sturdy. You gotta be kidding, then what do we do? Gather charge again, maybe it'll work next time. Okay. This isn't that hard. I, I understand now. Alright, please be connected to... Oh, perfect! That's what I wanted. Okay, absorb. Perfect. This is absolutely perfect. Alright, just one more time. Alright, I've collected enough. The car's, uh, it still barely functions. It still functions? That's real sturdy. Give me a break. Uh, surely the third time's the charm. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. This is still perfect. All right. This is working out pretty well. All right. Just be connected to Sarah, please. You are not. Okay. I'm going to have you collect. All right. This is random. Okay. You're going to absorb. Okay. Uh, oh. No, you need to absorb some. All right, please be connected to you. Uh, come on. Do we have a time limit? I don't really know, but you need to collect some absorb, some charge. Okay, this is fine. I'll collect. All right. All right, this should do it. That was actually really easy. It was a little confusing at first. We did it! It stopped! That means we're able to reset it, right? Oh, not so fast, I imagine. Alright, I'll accept a loss this time. We'll have to prepare a more fun trap next time. The fact that you went through all this trouble just to prepare these traps is like... <laughs> you know, it's like, I always think of that. It's like, man, why'd they go through so much trouble for this? I'm really sorry, I... Is that what you th uh, should be saying? Um, thanks, you saved me. Good for you. Ron Morrow. Um, so Sarah, if it were for your sake, Sarah, um... Yeah, what's this? What you talking about? Uh, and forget I said anything. Alright, at any rate, let's get out of here. The elevator just started back up. We can go to the lower floor. Right, we need to get there before Midori. It'll be bad news if it gets blocked again. You're right. Let's go, Sarah, to the lower floor. Please, let them all be safe. Well, I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Um, Kuramata, please stay behind here. 
What are you saying now, brat? You can't try to hide it. Those shocks put you in a bad way, way again. Remember when I said that there was a way to get it off? He was like, no, touch me. Tag me, please. If you stay here, you can charge it anytime. Fine. Don't die, Kana. Right. That's right. We have the transceivers. Kuramata, please hold on to these. One of these. Uh, you gave Kuramata one of the transceivers so I can keep in contact with us. Uh, drop us a line if anything happens. We're counting on you. What am I, fisherman? Whatever, just get going. Oh, I think we need to go to the elevators. Oh, <laughs> he's so nice. It's going to close. Hurry. He's lost. Has he lost his mind? Us getting on together? What should we do? Get on with him? I think I should... Let's get on with him. We're just moving together. It'll be fine. <laughs> God, that's going to be an awkward elevator ride. Long. Going down just one floor feels unbearably long. Because next to us is the enemy we need to kill. You're too nervous, Miss Sarah. This is super awkward. Even where he's, we, even when he's this close, I can't do anything. He's such, he's just such a Nagito, man. He really is. He's almost the exact personality, except for a few other things, you know. But it's like they, all they want to do is be that uh, Joker character and mess with you for their goals. You know what I mean? Get out quickly. We must not spare him in a, a second. I'll just take my sweet time. Is he really just not getting out? Is that what's happening? Okay. Um, guess we go here. Uh, the shutter's closed, so we can't get in the cemetery. All right, it's still closed like we left it. In fact, this shutter seems to have taken damage for something big and sharp. Yeah, what the heck caused that? Oh, ma yeah, Maple. That's right. She turned into like a freaking monster, basically. To do this to such a bulky, uh, sturdy shutter seems a whole lot stronger than Midori. However, it appears it hasn't been breached. Then KG must be safe in here. Uh, try knocking. All right, it's probably soundproof. I'll see if there's anything around here. Well, what about this? Use ID card. Hey, it actually worked. She's all hiding behind the corner. She's like, ah! She comes out. All right, it opens, Sarah. You must be waiting up ahead. Obviously, I'm going. Oh, yeah, KG! Yes, yeah, KG even alive? I'm gonna assume yes. Mr. Policeman, where are you? Um, is that, is it not rather hot? KG? Hey, big sis Sarah, why aren't the coffins open? Come to think of it, maybe after KG got out, he closed them and left? I wonder if, maybe the coffins didn't unlock. Don't be ridiculous, we opened them from the control room, I'm sure of it. It said all the coffins were open, but... The hourglass is still on the coffin. That doesn't matter. What's wrong, everyone? Why are you so, uh, getting so timid? The hourglass is just a trivial detail, right? Big sis Sarah. They're wrong. The coffin. I'll expect the coffin. Oh, God. Is he dead? Which one was he in? This one, right? Do you hear a weird noise? I can hear a low roaring sound from the coffin. Hold on a moment. That sound couldn't be... Please calm down. It's okay. I'll take my time to look it over. Uh, shake the coffin? Let's just open it. Uh-oh. It feels hot. The coffin's been... Oh, no! It feels like it just started a... I feel like I just heard a voice from inside. Stop it! No, this isn't... Why is the KG here? The shutter was still closed. Uh, what's happening in the coffin now? Is it, like, cooking? Is it, like, heating up? I don't want to consider the surface in my mind. The cremation system! KG! Oh, she pulled open the lid. I thought I could try the lid will come off. Dig it! We'll pry it open, whatever it takes! It's not even budging! It's no use, it's getting hotter and hotter, your hands are gonna... But KG! He's inside, he needs our help! Get away, Sarah! No, I need to help KG! Oh my god. They never unlocked. Right now, right in front of us, KG's being burned alive. There's nothing I can do. KG's being engulfed in a flame and they're dying. The sound of roaring flames torments my ears, my vision warps. Bro, is this part of the, this is part of the game? I don't think I could save him. Do you need aid? Midori? You might start time, you know. Oh, this is dirty, dude. Uh, I'm fine either way, personally. Can you save him? Uh, oh, I, we have to sign it. I don't have a choice. There's no time to question. There's only one option. To believe him and sign, and there's no other. He's laughing, of course. You're laughing! I did it! 
You finally signed for me, Sarah. Now hurry and open the coffin. Keiji's going to die. Midori pointed a remote at the coffin. Oh, sorry. Seems you weren't in time. No, you... This is so freaking crazy. Huh? The heat's melted the lid, fusing it to the coffin. It's physically impossible. Too bad. That can't... You lied! Th that, it, that it could open! Be open! I didn't tell you a single lie! All I've ever said is from the start it was I'll tell you a way to save him. Which is to say you deceived her. I've been tricked. I don't care about that. Uh, right in front of me, KG is... Oh man, this is insane, dude. Hold up. This ain't right. Hey, was KG really in there? I mean, the coffin's closed and even the hourglass is on top. Uh, that's what's so strange. How could a living human be so quiet while he's getting burned alive? True, he should have struggled and shouted more, I suppose. Did he lack even did he lack even that strength? Nah, that ain't it. He escaped from out of the coffin. Are you serious? But the shutter was closed and he must be in there. So we signed for nothing? We don't even know what they signed for. That part, I don't know about. Uh, but there was Kutaro and Mai who could uh who could use the fingerprint scanner. I'm sure something happened, so he's just not here, that's all. We should look for him. This ain't the time to get down in the dump, Sarah. Ron Morrow, I don't know. We'll just say I believe. I believe! KG, he has to be somewhere. We need to meet up. Right. Can you stand, Sarah? Thank you, Brown Morrow. Man, I, I even I believed it. I was like, for sure. Hmm. Getting all excited. Uh, yeah. Stupid. <laughs> okay, are they in the gallery? Oh! Maple! Stay away, Sarah. She doesn't seem to have noticed us. Is she sitting and resting? No, she isn't moving at all. She's completely stopped. Did she run out of battery? Or in other words, she's dead. She went on a rampage and exhausted her energy. We can never return the ID card to her. Maple, is this our fault too? I'm sorry. Well, it's kind of hard to feel sorry for her. But if she was nice until she wasn't nice. So I don't know. I don't know what to think about that one. Where else do we really need to look? Hey, Sarah, I'm glad to see you. My, where's Kitaro? Aren't you with him? Oh, we're together. I'm just having him uh, hide since he's injured. Uh, really? I'm so glad. It seems we've avoided the worst. But tell me, how's Kuramata? Kuramata's safe too. He's charging up in this, uh, the room. I see. That's great. Hey, everyone. I found out something huge. A way we could beat Midori with the dummy still alive. What? Is that true? No way. That's amazing, Mai. So, you see, we need the ID card for it. I don't have it. I have it? Oh, we don't know. Oh, we still don't know if she's like, if we can trust her or not. Oh, I can't save it. I'm going to say I don't have it. Oh, I don't have it. You shouldn't lie. Good. Hand it over, pretty please. I'll go give it to Kutaro. You won't let us meet him? You can't. He's con he's concentrating really hard. Nah, this is sus. I'm glad I didn't give it to her. I say, give it to her. We intended to return it to Maple at any rate. I guess so. Understood. Thank you, uh, Sarah. Mwah, mwah. Uh, and any rate, please look after Kitara for us. We're just gonna believe it? We can believe her, right? Maybe we should try following her. Yeah. Yeah, I would I would I, I wanted to ask about KG too, but it didn't let me. I know it gave me the option, but I didn't ask. Wait, so where did she go? We didn't, she didn't even say where she went. Uh, my headed this way, right? I don't see her anywhere. Something is strange. Is there a way I can inspect this place more? Ah, the lantern! Of course! I forgot about that. It's a picture of the school. This uh, picture feels somehow familiar. So... Should I use the lantern on this? I guess I should use the lantern everywhere. Wait, it won't turn on. Is it broken? Does it turn on in here? How odd. Oh, right here. There seemed to be a picture of a school in the locker room too. Too high to check. What do we do? Uh, human pyramid! <laughs> How many of us are planning on roping in? No dice, huh? If KG were here, I could probably reach by piggybacking off of him. I'll put my hands on the wall. Uh, get on my shoulders. Let's give it a try. I swear, people always piggyback in these games, man. One way or another. Heavy. What? I mean light. Oh, so light. <laughs> Calm down. Don't get so agitated. Uh, inspect the painting. Let's see here. The painting open. Inside is the switch label secret locker. Press it. Nothing changed. So obviously, it's the locker room. 
someone's coming out from here. So the question is, how did freaking, how did she get up there? <laughs> oh, what brings you here? Oh, what were you doing in there? Who can say? What kind of room is in there? You just find out that for yourselves. The fact that Bajori came out of it just proves that we couldn't trust freaking Mai or whatever her name was. I can't remember. What do we do? Go inside? Yes. That is an operation table. I don't trust this. Oh, I, I thought for sure we'd have to do that. Oh, there's a switch. Still no KG. Oh my god. Is that a freaking... It's like a, a, a cup noodles machine or something? The lights came on. There's a big box labeled repaired. There's nothing inside. Variety of tools. It's like a repair shop. A drink machine. Again? Hey, these are all hot drinks. What's gotten you so excited? It doesn't seem to have charging capabilities, which means it's no trouble if we drink it from here. Kana's fine with cocoa. How about Sarah? Kana? I'll have the cocoa. That's actually crazy. That's what I'm drinking right now. I'm drinking hot chocolate. It's like I was destined to play this game. I'll have cocoa. I'll need the sugar when I'm using my head. If you want to drink, you can just be honest. Relax just a little bit with the drink machine. Okay. Uh, unlike everything else, there's a keyhole. Uh, mine must be in here, right? Hold on a second. Why did Midori come out of here? That's what I said. No good. Knocking, not getting a response. What could this mean, I wonder? Hey, there's probably no point in looking around here anymore, is there? But my might be in there. I think I'll go inspect the cemetery some more. Wait, even with the structure maple in such a state, surely it's dangerous to be on your own. Then, Ramaro, you come with me. Why me? Here, you hold my cocoa. You're drinking way too much. <laughs> so they got some after all. What should we do? Search this floor for KG, uh, Shinogi and Kubutaro hamburger some more, I suppose. What the heck? <laughs> Not to say I distrust my, of course. Uh, she was acting weird. I say I distrust her. She did try to kill Kutaro, and she, I mean, she probably did it. But I think the game just wants to set up the tension like that. <laughs> They're holding the cocoa. Why am I looking after Hinako? There's still a kind of a burnt smell. So it's, ah, oh, I hate it. We still don't know if Keiji's alive or not. Okay, I can't click anything in here. Let's move to here. Oh, I hear some kind of noise. Watch out. Whoa, what's happening? What's happening? That was close. The ceiling fell? I wonder if it's because of Maple's Rampage. That was a close call. It has this weird smell like ink. So there's a hole above us? What was upstairs that has ink? The printer? I don't think we can go back up there though. Yeah, I can't go back up there. Oh, wait a minute. I should use the lantern. Oh. Debris is falling to the ring. Read. It's a handwritten message. This is farewell. I'll be departing this facility shortly. Of course, I feel a sense of responsibility for aiding a plan to restructure the criminal underworld. But deciding deaths by majority votes, I can no longer entertain this. Here on the sixth floor, there is an escape route known to no one. I commend you for finding this message by all means. Visit me and together we shall build a new underworld. Shinobu uh, Gakujo. Shinobu? That's the name for the wanted poster. What does it all mean? You've got some explaining to do. I explained the Hades incident. A mutual slaughter to decide the, uh, the dawn of the sinister organizations? Rather, a death game. Yes, and this is uh, being written on the wall here. You mean to say this is where it happened? That's, out that's outrageous news if it were all true. There could be an exit on the sixth floor? It's an absurdly small hope. It could well have been sealed off long ago. Even if it does remain, who can say if we'd be able to find it? But there's a non-zero possibility. There's hope of us getting home. Exactly right. Hope. The moment we saw that exit, it was all replaced with uh, abject despair. Now I feel like I've seen the tiniest, thinnest, uh, thinnest sliver of hope. And also, what if my uh, says it's true? Even if we can escape with you, I want to believe it. Hey Sarah, has Kurumata contacted you at all? Uh, check on the transceiver. No reply. Wonder if he's moving around. No way. Let me have the transceiver for a bit. I'll go check on him and I'll look for him if he's not there. I'm tired of all this cocoa too. Can I leave you to that? Of course. Hand him Ramar the transceiver. You be careful now. Right. It seems like all the robot people are kind of going away. It's kind of making me worried here. Holy crap, Maple's gone. He can't be. Did she start up again? 
Recovering from that state? This is bad. The ID card's still with Baker Lady. If we meet her now, it'll be bad. Oh, she didn't come back to her room. What you doing? Midori! Hey, if you got time on your hands, could you help me carry this? Oh, he has her. Dang, and she loved him too. Yeah, Maple, poor thing. Uh, where are you going to take her? Uh, the operating room, of course. I'll fix her with the power of my love. Such a, such absurdity if we would let, as if we would let you. You don't want Maple to be brought back? Oh, this poor girl. Incorrect. I'm asking if you intend to make her suffer again. If you want to stop me, kill me. Not that I expect anyone but Maple would be able to do that. Okay, stand aside. I'm on the way to the operating room. Uh, what do we... What now? He carried her off. Uh... That's a good question. I don't know. I guess we go to the operating room? I can hear Midori's laughter and the clatter of tools from inside. What should we do? Is there nothing we can do? Something terrible is happening before us, yet I can't do anything. At this rate, Maple's just gonna come right after us again. KG, what should I do? Testing, testing, can you hear me? Is it KG? Hey, he's actually alive! It's your friendly policeman in the air. How are everyone, how's everyone doing? What is this? Would love to explain everything, but unfortunately there's no time. If you could hear my voice, I've got a request for you. Bring the ID card to the classroom. I need Sarah to do it and for her to come alone, counting on you. That was Keiji Shinogi's voice, right? It sure was, but Mr. Policeman, so he was okay. Uh, but is he really? It still could be an AI. It still very well could be an AI. Why are we downing it, Bucket Girl? It's just strange. Why have Sarah bring the ID card all by herself? But then, uh, who else would have done this? Yeah, it's like the game's setting us up to be suspicious because of uh, my, right? True, Midori is right here, yes? Uh, we need to get the ID card. Oh yeah, that's right, Mai has it, because we gave it to her even though I didn't want to do it. What a troublesome situation. Here's the ID card back, Sarah. Mai, you weren't in there? I was outside. Anyway, what do you mean, outside? That suspicious announcement, you're gonna see what it was all about, right? I'll keep guard here so the rest of you go together. Indeed, let us determine who was behind it. Good luck, everyone. This feels strange. Something's odd with my. Go alone. Ah, oh, I need to save it. Let's just go alone. No, that's dangerous. Come on, let's go, everyone. Don't push me. I get it. Yeah, this is bad. This got bad news written all over it, but yet, here we go. Okay, everyone, get on quickly. This is definitely strange. Are we sure this isn't a trap to get us where they all want us? Uh, why do you say that? Believe in KG. Uh, should we not go after all? I can. We can wait until we found Kyutaro Hamburger. I told you Kyutaro's doing just fine. Really now? No, show us Kyutaro. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, I got to the elevator. What are you? I swear I'll be back quick. No matter how suspicious it is, if I can find out something about KG, I want to know. Even if it's the worst possible answer. I, uh, I wouldn't have believed that her at all. There was no reason why she couldn't just show KG. Or, uh, Kyutaro. Alright, to so the classroom. KG? There's no one here. Show yourself. What do I do? There was a sound near the teaching podium. Is someone hiding behind the podium? Kind of scary. What the... Don't come here, Sarah. What is happening? Is that KG? I have to talk to him. We'll save the game. That voice, it's you, isn't it, KG? Stay away. But why would he want us to stay away when he said come here? Are you the one who called for me? Listen to me. All we can do is talk. If you survive, then why? Don't come here, Sarah. A sharp pain runs through my body. Oh, this is a bad idea. <laughs> KG, Sarah. I think the last thing I saw was KG's face. What is happening? Sometime earlier. I am, I am actually lost. Like, usually I'm good at predicting stuff, but I really don't know what's happening right now. 
How you feeling? You got a pretty pain look there. At least give me a reply, KG. Morning. So he got out. Uh, my head's still spinning. Uh, glad you're okay. Can you stand? Uh, I'm alright. Hey, you look pretty drained. Are you okay? Nah, no problems here. Appreciate the concern. Uh, just not the most expressive guy, I guess. Now I gotta wake up and assess the situation. How are Sarah, uh, how are Sarah and the others? Uh, they got an ID card. We, uh, went to the upper floor. It seems the coffee control system worked. Glad you didn't have to get grilled. No kidding. Well, that's a relief, so everyone's okay? Well, about that. Uh, Kuramata took a big injury. And Maple's still running around wild on this floor. Uh, let's flee to the... Oh, I'm gonna press you you're okay. Well, we weathered it out hiding in the coffins. Uh, but if they didn't get locked, then we just have Sarah and the gang along the forest, right? But we can't hide here forever. Wanna meet back with the rest? I'm sure they're gonna cry. We gotta hurry upstairs. Thing is, if Maple comes running after us, everyone uh, will be in danger. Then what, what should we do? I got an idea. We turn the power off so Maple can't use the elevator. You mean the breaker in the gallery, but then we'll be stranded. Come on, we got this heavy shutter here. It'll be safe, all right? Guess then it's gotta be the Sarah from the others who close it uh, from the control room. That being the case, hey, somebody open up the shutter. Kitaro waved and gave a signal, but nothing happened. Is nobody watching? Are we stuck here? Let's take another way. Yeah, I can't stand to just wait. So, I'm guessing probably... Oh, this is, looks weird. No, never mind. Probably a coffin? Wait, there's writing inside. It reads from left to right. One, two, three, seven, six, five, four. One, two... Three... So I can close these. Oh, that was easy. I really just guessed. KG, look, the wall moves. It seems like it'll open if we push the door. Might push the wall. How convenient. It connected to here. Hooray, we got out. I like to go straight to floor five, but let's go off, uh, shut off the power to the elevator. Okay, we just need to figure out why Mai is acting freaking sus as crap, man. Okay, so turn off the breaker. That ought, to keep, that ought to keep Maple from going upstairs. Should we return to the cemetery? Wait, someone's coming. Hide. Oh. Is that Maple? Uh, what are we gonna do? Oh, so Kitara must have picked her up and put her on here, I bet. Approach her. Keiji, Kitara, my. Don't come near me. I'll do something terrible to you. It's alright. I left it on Maple. Hey, Keiji! See, I won't put a scratch on you. You're kind. Seems we'll be able to talk peacefully. It's because we stole Midori's ID card from you, right? Hey, do you really like Midori that much? Yeah, but I have to kill him. Huh? The obstructors asked, are tasked with killing everyone other than the human survivors. My target was the one in the uh, number four coffin. Which was Hiyori. So then you're actually on our side? Right, I am. But he already put an obstacle in the way. A love program. I was configured to love Hiyori. That's why I can't kill Hiyori. But if you all can end this love, I could become a weapon to kill Hiyori. That is my gimmick. Uh, what's this nonsense? Your feelings are being treated like some kind of a game mechanic? Yeah, but this was feeling a, a happy one. Far more so than he, uh, he already anticipated. And that's why you went on a rampage. I'm sorry. There's no time. Hey, stay with us! In the locker room, check the center of the left side. The password is 3141. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's go to the locker. We have to find something. Uh, it's open. Obtain the lantern. Now, what could this be? A light? Let's go back and ask Maple. Pretty sure she's not alive anymore. Hey, Maple. Hiyori. Whoa, easy now. Hiyori. No, she doesn't notice us. Is she broken? Maple told us to come back once we attain this lantern. Maybe she wanted to us to inspect the room. Okay. So this again. Can you reach though? I'm gonna jump. Oh, amazing stuff! He jumped! Ow! Kitara, you open up your wound! Sorry. But there's a switch behind the painting. I'll jump up. Press the switch. I wonder what that did. Oh, it opened up this one. 
So I wanted to know what Maple wanted to tell us. Go inside. So it's just like it's just like upstairs, isn't it? It's like the same thing. Oh wait, no, I'm done. This is the same room. Oh dang! What's the matter? Oh, nothing. Uh, business is, as usual. Scary. I could do it if it were a fingerprint scan. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. She tried putting her finger in it. <laughs> so they can't get the door open. Open this up. Open the box. Oh, God. What? Just a doll head. The box got, uh, has a letter in it. Let's see. To Master Hiyori, forgive the delay. The left eye and the surrounding area have been repaired. Once charged, it should function properly. This is some messy writing. What's up with this? A spare doll? Take it with us. You yeah, serious? Could it be used for something after all? Of course you should take it. That's not the first time we've had a head, right? Okay, I'll ha I, I, I clicked the vending machine. I'll have some lemon tea. <laughs> uh, that might not be bad. You like it? Reminds me of the club back in high school. Relax just a little bit with the drink machine. Yeah, it, it, with all the chaos. Gotta relax a little bit. Maybe we could leave her with the head? Oh, wow, it actually worked. He is here. I'm glad. Thank you. You So you found the lantern. Uh, tell us what you know. Okay, I'll tell you about the banquet. The banquet is the last resort of the sub game. It's the only way to clear it. What? It was written on the big gate. When the dead assemble, the banquet shall begin. Does this have to do with the dummies? Uh, the dummies. You're half right, but no, it's the coffins. What normally goes inside the coffins are the dead. And there are seven coffins in the cemetery. And when there are seven people in, in them, once more, the banquet will be held. By doing that, even the dummies can be saved. That's, how does that work? I mean, we have to kill our partners? Did you really hear that? And if you don't want to go back to being a corpse, then before the game ends, have the one you're paired with take your place. Take my place? Simply make her into a corpse instead kill your partner. Someone take your place? The true mission was to create substitutes for yourselves. Killing them just means putting them in your coffin. Uh, anyone will do. Doll or human, dead or alive. That's all it takes? What in the world? There was never any reason for us to fight with the dummies? If you clear the game, the collar bombs will stop. Then what about them running out of power? If we run out of battery, we die, right? Will they still charge us after we clear it? I don't know. He already might not think of uh, me or you as anything more than gimmicks. No, but you see, my, you'll just stop. Your body will remain. There's a possibility you could be brought back. There's just no way, right? Who's going to bring us back? There's no way Asanara would show us sympathy. They intended to dispose of us from the start. They've just been uh, enjoying watching us as we struggle helplessly. We'll bring you back. Man, Qtar are so nice. I don't know how yet, but we ain't going to abandon you. Not, not a chance. So we know about the charger now. So, Because we're allies. Oh, well said. It's okay. You have allies. Don't be scared. Oh, see, it's, it's all coming together now. How's nice seeing you three. I feel like a... M Maple. Maple! Dang it. Did she die? We'll bring her back. Her body's still here too. There's still the possibility. Oh, she dropped something. Ooh, the key! That has to go here. Alright, it unlocked it. Go inside. Oh, that's freaking what's her name, isn't it? Do you sense something? I see a person silhouette. Who's there? I knew it. It was Frog Girl. I call her Frog Girl because she still looks like the My Hero Academia girl. If it ain't Cephalon. Uh, I'm not your enemy this time. Please don't hit me. I won't. I just want to ask a few questions. What do you want from me? She's on guard. Uh, loosen the moon. That's all right. We aren't going to do a thing. You're so suspicious. I get that a lot. I was just asked to do maintenance by something by someone. That's all. But don't worry, I bet. Uh, so that's what you call them. Maintenance for this machine in the center. So he has another name. Not surprised. I won't tell you. I won't show respect to the enemy. Bingo. How dubious. Let's check this machine out. Naturally, I have no clue how to work this. Just try... Just touch stuff. Ah! Okay, let's try pressing this. Oh, some wild stuff happening here. Please stop it. Then tell us about it already. 
I understood. Please watch. Oh my god. It's... Oh, we have his head too! The heck is this? There's a headless Midori inside. A doll body. That's right. It was in my room. Is that room connected to this one? Could this machine be the machine that birthed us? Yes, it's called the AI Seaver. AI Seaver? You just put the doll inside and select an AI. Wait about three minutes, it'll ding, and it's done. Like a microwave. <laughs> That's not funny. What are uh, what are our lives? Are they that trivial? Hey, uh, Cephalon, uh, what are you doing maintenance on this, or why? Because I heard it'll be used in the banquet. I suppose you intend to go through with this terrifying thing, but please be at ease. I don't have the doll's head or this ID card, so I can't do any more with this. So please don't bully me. Well, we know where the head is. And it's gonna be gone, surely. Um, Kitara, you look pained. Are you injured? I'm alright. I can examine you. Yeah, do it. <laughs> right. Alright, sorry. I'll stay here and get treated for a little while. Honestly, it's been pretty tough. Don't go overboard with acting tough. Leave it to us. You rest up, Kitaro. Alright. Oh, it's actually still there. I really didn't expect that. Pick it up. Sorry, Maple. I feel kind of bad. Midori's an evil man. Uh, he's not a good fit for Maple. Well, okay. Come on. Let's go. We're worried about Kitara, right? If he's oogling her, I'll never stand for it. That's her concern? Ooh, does she like... Does she like like Kitaro now or something? Of course, man. This always happens. Where'd you go? Are they in the back? That looks like it hurts. That's quite a deep wound. Who did that? Wait, my? <laughs> <laughs> Mine was all sweating. Okay, let's attach the head. Will this do? I suppose a way to move, huh? Glad it's just a doll. But what does this have to do with the banquet? Uh, my guess is to fill the seven coffins. The coffin Midori was in can't be left empty either. Oh, so this doll will be used as a substitute. That's right, but maybe even without this thing, we can have somebody substitute. What are you doing? So you all really intend to do the banquet. I mean... Isn't the banquet the only way we can clear the game with everyone alive? It's, uh, nothing so kind. It's the most awful game. You'll be killed. Someone will absolutely... No way. That's not what we heard, Maple said. At any rate, don't get into the coffins. There's a... There are any other ways to fall in? Well, if we do nothing, the dummy callers will explode. And if it helps the odds of saving them even a little, we gotta do it. In that case, please at least do this. As much as possible, try to keep it a secret who's in the coffins. The surveillance system is disabled currently. Now is your chance. Even obscuring just one person will help. That's a tough request. Uh, let's disguise ourselves. Yeah, uh, your ideas are messed up, man. Never mind him. How about this? We put Midori doll in a coffin. And Keiji will hide in a room somewhere. Then Midori not seeing him anywhere will think Keiji is inside, right? I get you a diversion attack. Oh, so there was something in the coffin, but it was just the doll. How interesting, but there's one more thing you need. It's... I see. Oh, it's gonna not gonna tell us. I imagine this will be difficult. Uh, don't worry, I can arrange for that. Really? Yep, now let's assemble everything we need. And if we give Midori doll a personality with the AI Seaver, we'll have a perfect substitute ready to go. Oh, so I bet I bet you KG is actually okay. So this all has something to do with the reason why we couldn't see KG. All right, our deception plot should work, right, Cephalon? Uh, yeah. There's one other important thing. The doll head is out of battery. That's gonna have power too. I talk about a short-lived celebration. But if you use the charger on floor five, for will you got one of those? All right. I'm sure the others will bring us the ID card. So if we can just charge this head. Oh, and that's why she didn't want to tell us. Okay, this is all part of the plan. Okay, it's starting to make sense now. This game is really interesting. I love the way they write this stuff. Let's do it. There's more reason to suspect everything. It's scary, but I've never felt such optimism. Hope sure is important. Uh, yeah, hope. <laughs> Please be careful if you need treatment. Come back here. Okay. Hey, KG. Sorry, but could you drop the, by the cemetery? All right. The cemetery. Let me sit myself down for a sec. What's wrong? KG, about our plan from earlier. The deception using Midori's doll to fool the enemy first to see your allies. KG, uh, could we make it seem like you got executed in the coffin? What do you say, Kutaro? How, uh, yeah, how will we do it? You too, KG? It's simple, I tell you. 
We put the dolls laying here in the coffins and wait till the execution device starts. Keiji, you'll go up above and charge the hen. When you come back, use the AI Seaver to make another Midori. Then just swap what's inside the coffins and you could vanish, uh, Keiji. Uh, stop it. I feel bad for Sarah and everyone. Yeah, this will just open up the lid, right? That's obvious, uh, that's obviously not what I meant. We'll make something happen for the lid. What? Keiji, now would be a good time to use that lantern you got. Oh, what's this? You see, they changed color. The material's gonna let us pull a trick. Did he hear something from Cephalon? Even if we lock the lid, how do you intend to get to the upper floor without anyone noticing? I got a plan. A way to send Keiji to the upper floor alone. Alone. Uh, can I believe you? You bet. Fine, I'll do it too. Once we pulled it off, we'll have to give everyone an apology. Once you're ready, give me a holler. I'll give you the detailed plan then. Let's just save. And then okay, we're ready to execute the plan. All right, let's do it. And so me and my support Keiji from the lower floor here. Okay, I'll go to the upper floor and charge up Midori's head. Time to start. Don't uh, dare get seen, Keiji. Now then, I need to get to the elevator. Okay. Is this a mini game? We'll turn on the power to the elevator. When we do, the people on the upper floor will surely come down, so at the same time, you'll go up. Oh, they're passing each other. A near miss plan. Hope it works out. Anyway, I'll wait here for now. They're taking a while. Still nothing? Can't exactly leave the spot, though. That sound. Okay, so now we get on it. The other elevator started up. Hit the... Wait, wait it out. Should I wait it out? Get out quickly. We must not spare him a second. Alice's voice. Wait, not good. They've already come down. Hit the fifth floor button. I pressed the button and the elevator started moving. Wait, wouldn't they hear it? Nobody knows I'm here, right? I'll search for the charging room without anyone seeing. Oh, crap. Yeah, he's there. There are papers scattered around. I'll try to not to step on these. So this is the charging room. You look like you're seeing a corpse. Your life. And and whose fault do you think that is why uh, why I'm like this? Thank you. I was able to get out of the coffin safely. Good. So like why are you all by yourself? What about Mai? You seen her? She says she's down below. Yeah, then I guess we'll meet up. But uh, where's everyone else? They're all headed down. It's just me here. Of course, I might be at my limit soon. Tell them about the banquets. You serious with that? Sure am. Well, ain't that perfect. Thought we'd just be wiped out in the end anyhow. Even if you could save a single one, we gotta take that bet. You've gotten kind. Shut up. <laughs> well, whatever. I'm feeling good. I'll tell you this too. If a floor master meets the drop, the, their doppelganger, they die. What's up? Nothing. Be grateful because that was the only info I had. This isn't good. Now I can't tell him about Majori's head. That's a charger. To think it's so huge but only has enough for one full charge. Why does he know that? Don't tell me. You used it. Yep. Only half though. What? You think I'll hoard you think I'd hoard it all for myself? So there's still half. Crap, what do we do now? I draw suspicion if I ask him how to use the charger directly. Well now, aren't these obtain the charger instruction manual? Why not just tell him to like not say anything? Are we supposed to do something to not make him see? Uh no choice. Connecting Midori's head to the charger. Hey, that's... Ain't that Midori's head? Did you kill him? Wrong. This is a doll head. Don't screw with me. Then why are you spending precious battery on that thing? By time. Now, now. Why don't we talk about this calmly? Don't talk to me. Uh, down to me. Kuruma crawls closer. I didn't leave spare charge for crap like that. It was uh, for the others. Kuruma crawls closer. What should I do now? Even my wounds I got because of you. And yet you're going to forsake us? No, this is just for the banquet. I know, that's got to be a lie. Listen to me. Stop that right now. Quit it. Get away. You traitor. Oh, God. You going to kill me again? That's wrong. No, it's not. You can't save anyone. I... All that matters to you is yourself. Don't touch me, murderer. I said don't touch me. 
What did he do? Did he freaking kill him? Did I kill him? Please, KG. Don't forsake them. Please. Oh, he's crying. I wouldn't forsake anyone. It's fine. We can charge him again. He's fine. He's fine. He's fine. Okay, I charged it. Now I just have to get back to the lower floor. Calm down. This plan is... Uh, also, no one sees me. Testing, testing. Can you hear me? Oh, it was a KG. Oh, no. Oh, that's crazy, dude. What was that? That was my voice? It was AI. I did say that. I was like, it could be an AI. And it was... I, I wonder if we... It probably would have made us go anyway. Dang. Nobody's here. What in the world's going on? So you really were alive. How do you feel, KG? Ron Morrow? Did you make that broadcast? Yep, found a nice voice changer function. You got some business with me? I might. Hand over Midori's head. Not seeing where you're going with this. I heard all of the transceiver. You killed Kuramata, KG. I didn't kill him. I trusted you. Sarah too, she trusted you the most. But look at you with scrutiny and it's clear. KG, you, you're with Ostinar, aren't you? I don't understand. Sarah, she signed the consent form. She was brought here by someone's wish, put into a desperate situation for someone's sake, and at last she signed the invitation. KG, are you the one who brought Sarah here? Uh, why me? I actually don't know. No way I would do that. Marmoro, this is just jealousy. You just want to be the closest to her. The one who protects her, isn't that right? No, I don't matter in this. I just want to help Sarah. You can't be that person. Not you as a doll or me as her murderer. Of course, I know that. Now, come on, hand over Midori's head. Wait, somebody's coming. Hide. And that's Sarah, obviously. KG? There's no one here. Why did Sarah come here? What are you planning? Ramura held out his left hand. Oh! KJ, are you there? Oh, it all comes together. Okay, listen to me. If you survive, then why? Don't come here, Sarah. Oh, Sarah? Oh, that's why Sarah got zapped. Okay, so the plan. Stay with us, Sarah. Oh, you zapped? Okay. I don't see the point of zapping KG, but... Time to lock you away. Now you're ruining it, the plan. Where am I? You okay? Uh, you came too, Sarah. Kitaro? You're safe, I'm so relieved. Uh, hey, don't overdo it getting up. How energetic for having just passed out. Hey, big sister, Sarah, you want water? I see, I lost consciousness from some kind of shock. Thank goodness, if you haven't regained consciousness. Kana, that's right. Where's the ID card? I don't see it anywhere. Nothing we can do about it. But still, you got to be back with the Q Tower so you don't be sad. So that's why they were being suspicious. Then where's Keiji? He wasn't anywhere. What? Unfortunately, we just found you alone. A uh, collapse in the classroom. Now, uh, do not be sad in Sarah Chido, and we do have good news. The banquet. There's a way in which we can clear this game and survive alongside the dummies. Uh, Muscle Gorilla knows all about it. Yeah, which is why I want to gather everybody. Ramar said he'd bring everyone here, but... So this is where you were. Rise and shine, Sarah Senpai. Hurry up and get on with this explanation. You ain't with Ron Morrow? And also, I haven't seen, haven't seen Kuramata anywhere. Did he finally die? What's that reaction for? It's just a joke. Hold on. Has no one got to check on him? I'm sure he's fine. I mean, he's charging up. Ain't it obvious? I'm more stubborn than that. Oh, he's alive! Thank goodness, you seriously worried us. Some reputation I'm getting. Or reception. Did he say... I don't know. I think he said reputation. That makes more sense. Now all but Romaru uh, Kageyama and Keiji Shinogi have assembled. Keiji, eh? Wonder where he could be. Nothing for it. Let's get the banquet re uh, ready ahead of him. Oh, they probably revived him and they explained the situation, maybe. Everybody assemble in the cemetery. Because he did lie. Like, why else would he lie if he didn't know what was going on? 
All right, everyone prepared? We should wait for the others? There's no time. Midori is repairing Maple right now. If we don't hurry, he'll finish and... Oh, I finished ages ago. Glad I made it in time. How stubborn can a guy, a guy be? As if that's anything new. It's true, since years ago he's... I'm so glad you finally remembered. All of the devotion I put forth, the effort I gave to grant your wishes. I've created for Alice an opportunity to kill me. I gave Kitara a healthy body. And to this day, get in your mother is healthy and look uh, after and looking after you just as you wish. Wait, did we ever see Kitara's story? Because I don't remember. Uh, what? A, maybe I just don't remember. What a happy bunch. Uh, what about us is happy? We were all tricked by your offers. You took advantage of our feelings, for others are pain emotions. And you stole our happiness, our lives, our futures. Kana, only wished for her sister's happiness. I see. Which is why you said you wanted your sister's wish granted. Did you know what she answered? Uh, don't need to hear it. I actually want to know. Say, tell us. What did he say? Could you be quiet, Miss Sarah? I want to hear Kana's opinion. If you refuse now, I won't ever tell you. I want to know. What did sister answer? Such a big, good big sister. She said, I want to meet, I want Kana to meet her real family. That wish. Of course, I granted that too, didn't I? I, re I reunited you with someone much like you. Kind, weak, and cowardly. Your big brother by blood. Wait, so he wasn't the same person? I was, I'm a little confused about him still. I thought like he was part of it, but I don't know. Wait, no way. Were they really brother and sister though? Cause that's kind of crazy. They did have a connection, you know. Uh, lost not just her sister, but her brother too? I thought as much. As much of a liar as so was, his affection wasn't a lie. He always protected Kana when she couldn't do anything. Yeah, he did. And even now, when she's about to give in, she's, when she sees him. Bro, I swear I thought they were the same person though, Midori and him. Kind hallucinations of her sister and so. Kana is weak. Surely uh, she shouldn't be looking at them. She should stand firm on her feet, looking forward, treating everyone as uh, precious, so that the two of them can disappear in peace. So that she can say, I'm all right. So I can't give in. I'll never lose to someone like you. Worthless. Why won't you all entertain me? Why won't everyone break down properly? Toys these days sure are complex. Toys? Just then something flew in the inside outside of the cemetery. Oh, Ranmaru! He was getting worthless ideas too. Majority took the ID card from Ranmaru. Give it back. What were you doing with that ID card? Why? Because he's the villain who knocked out Miss Sarah. Ranmaru betrayed you all. That's wrong. Sarah. Oh, I can't be anything after all. So at least I wanted to be Sarah's sal salvation. I thought if I put the Joe AI in me. That's why you were using the AI Seaver? How hilarious to give up your own consciousness for her. Midori. Yes, I'm tired of uh, talking now. Come on in. Maple has been reborn. Oh no. So we have to fight Maple? Oh snap. Oh gosh, she's like a bunch of AIs. Run away everyone, sorrowful AI? Dude, this is so messed up. What's even going on here? I stuffed some powerful AIs into her. She may look hideous, but I think it's what's on the inside that counts. I'm gonna slaughter all of you together. My, so you're my prey. Help me guys, Hiyori. Now go Maple, run wild till your battery gives out. She got a chainsaw too? Her battery? We're fighting this? That's totally not even Maple anymore. Listen, at this point, our only option is to run down her battery. Find a way to make... Okay, so we have to run down her battery. No mercy for you. I'll kill you. You're dead. Uh, he's giving you guys a serious glare. He has a strong hatred of humans if we could stimulate that somehow. All right, guys. I think I'm going to save that. If we're going to end that right there, I think maybe... Just maybe we might be able to end this game next episode, but guys, thank you so much for sticking uh, to it Subscribe to the channel guys. Uh, we got to get to 50,000. That's my goal for right now I mean, I eventually want to get this to a million too, but we'll see but guys I can't wait to see what happens next. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now